Hello, everybody. Once again, I'm William Craft here, aka Zorval Chan, less than guru. And today we're going to be talking about the last rogue in my Palladium rewrite, The Thief. Um, and yes, I found it humorous and hilarious to have a cat burglar be a cat person. So the uh, photo is a, uh, a black cat, a feline, a felt feline in my game. And the little white mustache here is the whiskers. But I just thought that that would be hilarious. And so that's what I did. The thief. Same attribute requirements as in uh, Palladium, alignment, selfish, or evil. Um, I mo Most of the other evil rogues, like the assassin and pirate, I required um, anarchist. The thief, I do allow unprincipled. Sometimes you might, and it, it's kind of the C, or C, sorry, the, the street urchin type, the kid on the street that is doing this out of necessity to live and doesn't necessarily like it, must do it. Um, there's lots of tropes of that um, street urchin becoming somebody better in light, in life, uh, in, J Jimmy the Hand in one of my favorite authors, Raymond E. Feist's uh, book, is is a perfect example of that thief with a heart of gold. Or your Han Solo, even though he was a smuggler, not a thief, um, but the thief could be a smuggler in in Palladium. That I would have this be the if somebody said I want to be a smuggler, I would point them in the thief direction. Um, so physical conditioning, plus six, same as my other rogues. Men of arm are usually plus eight. Rogues are plus sixes. These are not quite as physical, but they do still do physical activity type things. Climbing walls, uh, prowling for long terms, crawling, endurance type things. So that's where that physical conditioning comes from. Armor tier two, your light armors, whether that's uh, added Clothing, padded cloth, or reinforced leather, just not metal. Um, so let's look at the level chart. And Mars has a fixation with my mic. He always needs to rub up against it. And he's not wanting to get off my lap. So sorry, I cat wrangling. Level chart, level one, this is where you get your base skills, just like in Palladium. Level two, additional hit point. Three and four, your additional skills, like in normal Palladium. Uh, five, you get an additional shock point. Six, eyeball a fella. Uh, look back on my last video for the spy, and where I get really in detail, or where I got eyeball a fella, why I like it, and those same things apply reasoning to give it to Thief. Um, seven plus one additional uh, hit point, eight elective skills, nine shock point, ten secondary skills. Again, a lot of those skills are exactly where they came up in Palladium. I just filled in the blanks. Um, Eleven additional hit point, twelve additional elective skill, thirteen takedown shot. So that's new. Hey, let's we'll have an ability that we look at at that. Uh, 14 is additional shock point, and 15 choose three elective skills. So as I mentioned earlier, one of the things I was trying to figure out is are thieves and spies really different because I liked condensing redundant things, and I determined that, yes, they they were distinct enough. Spies get a lot more skills. That's one of the things when they go up, they get a lot, lot more skills. The thieves get a little more of that shock points and hit points because the thief is probably going to be uh, in more situations where it does lead to some type of violent encounter instead of the spy who hopefully their whole thing is, well, both of them, they hope their whole thing is not getting into it. But a thief is more on the chance of when they're caught, it'll be a one and one, one to one encounter instead of a spy, a mole type or a spy in enemy territory getting surrounded by multiple. So the thief is probably going to have a better chance and therefore a more training, et cetera, to have those combat things help them and whether that can be on the defense, your shot points and hit points. Um, so elective skills, secondary skills, 
same setup as Palladium. Elective skills, these are the skills you are allowed to get. Secondary skills, you can get any secondary skill. These are the ones who give you, which give you bonuses. My condensed skill list, getting rid of redundant skills. So let's move into abilities. Uh, for a more detailed Eyeball of Fella, look at the Spy, the pr previous episode. But basically, this is a way for a thief to determine who the best mark is. They can look at somebody. Are they rich? Are they poor? Are they pretending? Um, what's their mood? Are they drunk? Is it going to be easier to steal that thing? So all of that boils down to what Eyeball of Fella is. And they have a 71 plus three percent if their opponent is disguised then their disguise is used as a penalty um, and then what's the takedown shot at 13th level all thief hand-to-hand -hand critical strikes from behind can have their damage multipliers applied to range and thrown attack um, as i stated with my assassin and there's assassin's kiss which is the death blow that can go to range and thrown uh, the multipliers for hand-to-hand, -hand, I felt the need to separate them from close combat and ranged combat because there's nothing in Palladium ever that states how to work rate of fire for ranged weapons with your hand-to-hand -hand bonuses. There's nothing saying do those hand-to-hand -hand bonuses apply to ranged combat? Most people assume yes, but in my game, I've specifically said rate of fire and why you can get such a high rate of fire. I'm talking nine, eight, nine shots out when you can only attack five times is because the ranged person is spending their time just aiming and shooting and trying to get as many missiles, there are many thrown things, as many damaging things from themselves to their target as possible they are not prepared to have to parry or be in combat in any way if they take a hand-to-hand -hand stance then they can shoot at that up to five but they're not just shooting not drawing shooting drawing shooting drawing shooting so i don't allow them to have those bonuses this gives the thief all of those behind so if they shoot somebody from behind they'll get those extra multipliers um from the the thief hand to hand chart so i think that is a pretty good thing if you separate them um, which i recommend doing or finding another way to figure out how rate of fire and juggling for thrown weapons because that's a different thing works with mystic and or magic combat and with hand to hand combat because there's four different things explained in palladium and they never say how they interact ever. um so you can watch my whole video for that but that is my thief once again i'm william crafton jr aka zorachan less than guru and until next time i will catch you later